Hey guys, it's Nerp here, and we're gonna be doing another ranked match today. So let's look for a match. Um, did a lot of decay in my last videos, and they're gonna go for a late game order right now. Right now, the um, the meta game is looking much more varied than it used to. Although, like just like last week, it was all decay. We, I've seen, I've seen um, all four factions. Actually, the least um, amount of a faction I've seen is growth. I remember when it was always growth. Now I haven't seen much of growth, mainly because energy is the second least, and growth really only beats energy consistently. It generally is d decay, and usually uses versus order, in my opinion. But even like within each faction, there's different like kinds of decks I'm seeing. Like I'm seeing like poison decay decks, and just like normal watcher necro decay decks. Even some seen some like decks like these. Harvester tempo, that's a pretty cool deck. I'm actually um uh trying to get a bloodline taint because I I want to put that in my poison decay deck. I think I, want, I, might, I think I might try that out after being in a couple of uh, matches against this guy. I think his name was like Alchemist. He, um, was just destroying me with his Miasma Wells and Meyer Curses. So I may want to try that. Yep. Also, I just had a substantial conversation with Vex. Pretty humbling. If you don't know who he is, he's a uh, 200k Minecraft YouTuber. You should check him out. I want to see a conversation. He, he, apparently, he thinks that scrolls should become free to play. And, um, I agree to an extent. I think that that would definitely help the, uh, dwindling player base grow. But, I don't know if, um, I feel like that's more of, like, a last resort if, like, people are still aren't playing. I think first they just try to, like, get it, like, more more people know about it they should probably first just try to uh advertise it a bit more if that doesn't work then i'd go free to play so that was certainly a humbling experience talking to vex you know where come on of course when i'm recording i can't find a match so yeah the ladder right now i did get to one number i i was in the one spot for like two or three days and now, I've been hovering from 5 to 2, uh, mostly in 2 or 3 though. Just PewQ, he went f like on a huge rampage through every player, especially me. I kind of fed his rating a lot. He's over 1900 rating right now, which is amazing. So that means, when you're high ranked like that, you don't get that much for each win, and you lose more when you lose. So that means he's not losing, and he's winning a lot. And then, uh, Chamion, uh, he's pretty good also. He's actually, I think, 18, like, 40 or something. He stormed past me as well. So it's, like, 1900, 1850, and then I'm, like, 1780-ish. And then down to Marty J, it's down to, um, it's down to 1750. So very wide margins from, like, 1 to 4. Yeah. So now... Alright, let's just... Eh. Let's do it. Alright. Yeah, so, um... Badger Guild still has, I think, the lead in, um... In the, uh... In the ladder versus the Think Tank. But it's close. Because they have PewQ and Marty J, 1 and 4. Alright, he's growth. Don't see, um... I have Eagle too often. Alright, I've seen a lot of people use Kinfolk Ranger lately when I'm playing Growth. I'm not, I'm not sure if I agree with that, but I haven't played Growth in a long time in Ranked, so I don't really know. It just doesn't seem very, um, very cost-effective, getting a 2-3 creature for 2, just like a Gun Automaton. It's gun Automaton without ranged and synergy with Bombard and stuff. Um... I want to keep the wing shield and the spiky for growth. 
I like all these cards. I think I'm gonna sack the Vanguard. Double Wings Captains is just too good. Alright. Make your move, cutie boy. You see a brother of the wolf? Yep. I called it. I think we're gonna engage him and we're gonna move down so we can get an attack on him next turn. Because. Eh, Kabonk's good against growth, but I'll sack it. I think we are going to engage him because um, this wing shield here is hard for him to take down, especially when I get that third unit down there. Which will most likely be a wings captain. Great wolf. Um, it has me a bit worried. Uh, I want to keep that kabonk. I do want to keep that kabonk. Let's give. Let's just snag another wings captain. So now they will both have move two for this turn. This will give each other the wings captain effect. So all my guys are going to attack next turn, and I hope he does not have anything that can destroy this. The only way he can destroy my wing shield this turn is if he plays a mangy wolf right now. Oh, mangy wolf crimson ball, that would suck. Okay, he does that. Let's see. Hmm, one sec. Okay. I... I actually missed what happened. <laughs> um. Okay, so he range eats. That's five attack, and then he had a guy behind it, and he put range it in. Okay, so he did something I did not want to happen. Um, I think we're gonna focus so we can kill that. So I think we're gonna sack the imperial. Don't like attacking imperial resources early, but I think it's something that we. Need to do okay and next turn probably an honorable general start getting that going so this guy will die from the uh, poison because it has two more rounds yeah two more rounds how oh, sad but we got rid of his big threats in the in the brother of the wolf and the gray wolf, and he has nothing that he can do that last turn, which is great. Um, I kind of just want to get the wing shield down because if he has a crimson bull or something. He can like kill my. Actually, no. I don't really need to get that down this turn. Hmm. Actually, I'm not sure. Wing shield would. Here, let's just move out of the way. Hopefully, he baits him to attack him. And uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna sack the general. Okay. Yeah. I think that was the right move. If he does have a crimson bull. Then this guy still survives unless he has like another ragged or something. Actually, that was kind of stupid. He could do a lot of things to kill that guy right now. Don't kill him, please. Use the crimson bolt. No, he killed him. That was stupid. Why'd I do that? I think that qualifies as a misplay. Now I lose both of them. No. Um, just gonna sack. Or resources because I want to play the Imperial next turn. Okay, at least we're, every time he kills our stuff, we're able to rebuild our fortifications. And for some reason, he's not able to do that. I don't know what he's doing. 
cutie boy 92. So not sure how cute he is right now now that he's twenty one years old. Right? Um I think we go down because this guy's gonna heal when he deals damage. And we don't really after seeing what just happened a second ago, we don't want to engage his great wolves anymore. So after getting an Imperial, we are now ahead and stuff. Now, another Great Wolf. That's scary. Eek. Okay. We could see a God Hand next turn, which would be quite devastating. Um. Do I Kabonk something or just Sack Kabonk? I hope we get like a speed focus. <laughs> I'm gonna sack the skirmisher. The skirmisher is good, but I'm gonna sack the skirmisher. Okay. It's not terrible. He got hands. Can he win? No, he can't win. But it would be very bad if he got hands. Um. Let's go ahead and kabonk you. Get a royal vanguard. E. We're gonna stay down there. No, we're gonna move up. Probably another bad decision. But not in the greatest spot right now that he's able to get uh, those two guys out. He is now, if he got hands right now, he would be able to clear this row. But, I mean, if he got hands right now and clears this row, he can't deal any idle damage. Good, he can't got him. He could go for the Rally Crimson Bolt, though. I assume he didn't have a God Hand. Because if he did, he'd probably play it. Well, that's, like, just as good as a God Hand. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Not much I could do. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. This is not going well. Um, can we afford the Imperial? I don't know. I'm gonna do it. I mean, if he has a God Hand right now, then so be it. What am I gonna do anyways? If we can survive this next turn from losing and or having this general die, I'll Blessing of Haste it and put down a Vanguard and a Skirmisher. So that I can plow through his men. And I think we're back in it, but if he wins his turn, then he wins. Wasn't much I could do this game to stop it. I guess I couldn't have... I guess I should have, um, not played as aggressively against him. Like, I... Up. Oh, is that... Yeah, GG. You can... Yeah, he... No. He can, actually. He cannot GG it. Practically is, though. Growth. How can I destroy you when you get all these guys? Um, I got a focus. I'll mango speed focus, but I don't have a focus. Um, six. I'll sack the vanguard, and we we have a general speed. So I'm going to. Go ahead and he wins next turn if he has like anything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I might put my units down. Because he has any kind of countdown reduction that he draws. He has zero cards, so if he draws anything he wins. But and if he does not draw the countdown reduction he needs, then we will try to take down his stuff with like a general speed or something. Okay, he does not have countdown reduction because he's like putting his guys there. But oh, good, he had no cards. Can we get a focus? 
Oh man, if we can get a focus, that'd be clutch. Um, what do I sack? I should have moved these guys down. Now they can't attack these guys. Um, focus. I think that's game then. Nothing I could really do. Um, guess I'll go with the general speed anyways. Destroy as many of these as I can. So then I'll go... One, two, three, one, three, four. Kill everything besides his great wolves, which are the scariest ones, but if they're lowered attack, he probably can't win this turn. He can do quite a bit of damage, though. We have a double blessing of haste, so if he, for some reason, just decides not to kill our general, which he may be doing right now, unless he has crimson bull or something. No, he's not going to kill it. I was going to say that the double we can use double blessing of haste as a way of getting our general down to zero and playing other stuff. But he's going ahead and killing it, and he destroys that idol. All right, interesting. He, he's. Did he just sack for order? I'm not sure. Interesting, he splashed that. Um, I think we want to keep all the countdown reduction we can get. So I think we're going to sack the decimation. It's not like he has any like low health creatures on the board. Speed. We really need a focus. That would be awesome if we can get a focus. Uh... I could... I could have used Decimation and then Blessing of Haste both of them. But I don't think that'd be a great use of my cards. I'm going to. Alright, God Hand, let's just say he wins. So let's just try to. Fill up our board with guys. Or, no, we can we'll move you there. Okay. God hand does he win? He has a six six. Yeah, he wins. God hand. Maybe. Nope. Okay. So we're still in it. And let's see if we can get a um, focus. Hmm. I could. This next turn. Blessing of haste you, so then it's five and three, and then I'll blessing of haste you, so that you're five also. So then. That's dead. Three on that, and then it doesn't kill that guy. Uh, I think I need to kill that guy. I just need to focus. Um, I guess I'll sack one of the blessing piece. We got a flip. I think we're gonna use that to kill the great wolves this turn. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and. you up um blessing of haste you blessing of haste you and then it's five and three we're gonna put five there let's flip five three and five okay um, that wasn't the best move. Let's, we need to kill 
one of these guys, so it's you down there. I'll put you there. We may have been able to kill both of the Great Wolves, I'm not sure. But I'm not that great. Probably, a, and if, so since I've been playing scrolls, um, it's definitely been, growth is definitely, I mean, order has been definitely been the faction I've played the most. It was my first, uh, pre-con and everything, and I played it a lot. But I'm probably the worst with order of all the factions. It's just, I think it's definitely the hardest to master. You have to be very, you have to think pretty quickly. Does he win? Yeah, he wins. GG. Okay. How much should we lose? Don't be over like 30. And it was almost 30. Ah. I think we're still in third, though. Oh, well. So, I'm not... I didn't really make that many bad plays out last game, though, so... And I'll go ahead and play another. So, thank you for watching, everybody, and hopefully next time you see me, this number will be higher.